Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video I will be sharing how I created these custom wall embellishments. Actually my husband and I. He he basically was the one that did all the work for me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, so I just, um, there is an arch. I, I will be taking you to it in my entryway going into my living room because now we're moving into the living room to start decorating for fall. Um, but there is an arch, quite a large entryway arch. And I just, um, I wanted to add something special um, on this arch just to make it look and feel like my storybook page, if that makes sense. Um, you know, when we go into our storybooks and we read the Once Upon a Time, how it will have these little um, embellishments next to the lettering. Well, that is what I wanted in my entryway going into the living room um, just again to make it look like my storybook page. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so we are starting here with some vinyl. This is uh, by Cricut. And we went online Actually, I went online and found an image that I would like to, I wanted to work with, but it just, it needed a little bit of tweaking to it. So that's where my husband came in because I don't understand all of this um, computer stuff. So anyways, I just handed it on over to my husband and he worked his magic. Now this is a transfer paper and it's great because it has a grid system. And I'm going to share with you again how to place transfer paper on top of a vinyl image. Okay, so I started, you just line it up at the bottom. Now, real quick, this is just a little bit different because as you can see, the paper is not straight. And that is because the images were, I have two of them, were printed out way too close to one another. So it just, I didn't have the straight grid like I wish I, you know, I, I really wanted because then it's easier to line it up on your surface. So I'm using one of uh, the tools that come along in the toolkit for the Cricut. And you basically just scrape over the surface to help get the image to transfer onto the transfer paper. And as you're doing it, you can sort of tell when it's lifting up. I, maybe I was trying to share that with you all there. As you're scraping along, um, when it starts tr transferring on, it'll sort of change colors because it is going on to the transfer and off the regular paper. And this is the before, and I will demonstrate how to um, take off all the excess vinyl that's not needed. So we'll start at the corner and then with this little, it sort of looks like a dental tool. You just press it down on the vinyl to get things going and slowly pull this back. And you'll see that you'll have to stick this little tool underneath to help remove the vinyl. It's super easy. Now all of this was achieved with... Um, my Cricut. I actually had a collaboration with them a few months back and um, it was perfect timing and I put some lettering once upon a time down at the bottom of my stairs. So here I am again revisiting um, some detail work with the Cricut machine.
Okay, so all the excess vinyl is removed. Now we put the transfer paper on. Okay, so here is the arch um, going from my entryway into my living room. I just recently painted it. I still have to paint the trim up at top. And for those of you that are still watching, if I can get you to smash that like button right now, that would be great. We didn't do so well last video, and I'm hoping maybe we can make up for it this one in this video. Okay, so I decided where I wanted to place this onto my wall. And I made sure just to put a little mark up at the top. So you just, now you take the transfer paper off from the, the white backing. I'm trying my best to line it up because I do not want to make a mistake during this process because I could lift up paint from the trim by having to remove this piece. So then you just pull off the backing slowly and what you have to do is always go back. Well, it's nice when you don't have to, but because this one has so much detail, I kept having to go on back and scrape the surface to get this image to go onto the transfer paper. It was just being a little bit stubborn. See, I'm having to do the same with this one. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and just put it all on the wall and then come back and share it with you all. Okay, let's start from the top. And it's just this beautiful French country um, folk art type of fairy tale image on my wall. That's a lot of wording. <laughs> and just slowly you'll see that it's trying not to attach to the wall. So you just give it a little scrape with the scraper. And slowly pull it back. Okay, so going back with the camera, I'm giving you a good um, overall view. And I couldn't be more pleased. I, I tried very hard to find a stencil and do some painting with the stencil, but I just really couldn't find anything. So then I just decided I'm over on the other side now. I just decided, you know what, let's just go to the Cricut, let's find an image, and then just work with that. And that's exactly what we did. Again, what I was going for was that perfect, like, opening up a storybook to the first page. Um, that is the look and feel that I wanted coming into the cottage, into the entryway, going into the living room. My own little storybook look and feel.
And again, if you do find your, that you are still in this video, please hit that like button to help get this channel into the algorithm.